Good morning traders, Richard here doing quick Ichimoku cloud chart market review of the NASDAQ 100 index futures contract. In the last update we're in around this uh, cluster of support here. We were looking at the potential continuation of the rally from the top end of the cloud. Yeah, we identified those support zones there at the top end of the cloud and these levels then came into play. We had our rally continued, uh, the rally continued to, to continued higher, and this also kind of a nice upward continuation pattern, up move, pull back, up move, and that completed the move. By this time, it became very extended from the top end of the cloud and was ripe for a consolidation and pull back towards the top end of the front end of the cloud, and we can see we where these key levels are at the front end of the cloud right there can see they're finding support at 19.746. So now a little bit of a problem here because we're slightly below the turning line of the cloud and uh, but the support zone is the front end of the cloud with significant support for July is the standard line here at 19.445. So any kind of weakness we could see these support levels being tested and then a, a continuation of the rally but if we have a strong start in July and we can continue breaking past that turning line of the cloud there and we might retest the old high there a uh, bit of a negative candle there as you can see the selling pressure coming through there but so far so good fantastic rebound from the front end of the cloud and this comes soon after rebounding from this cluster of cloud chart support levels there just pop in another line there that bottom end of the cloud there you can see there that uh, cluster of support there came through now if we look at the weekly Ichimoku you can see a little bit extended from the top end of the cloud bit of a negative uh, candle that uh, spinning top uh, so we do need to see a, a stronger rebound from this cluster of support levels because we are a little bit extended from the top end of the cloud you can see how well this rally started here in March broke through the cloud then consolidated another rally consolidated now we have another rally and we could see that consolidation after a nice strong July rally turning to the four hour Chimoku in the last update, we were run about yeah, looking at that uh, cloud chart signal coming through as a buy in the futures contract. We then got the support at the standard line of the, the turning line of the cloud, as well as the standard line, as well as this cluster of support at the front end of the cloud. You can see the bottom in the cloud yeah, also coming in as a key support zone. Then the third buy signal was the cloud cross here. Yeah? And then we had a nice rally consolidating back to the front end of the cloud. So that gave us. Uh, significant uh, uh, you know comfort that we're going to hold on to that trade and then broken out of that trading range for most of a couple of days there and then moved higher consolidation you can see how the standard line and the turning line here yeah, acted as key support got a bit extended after this uh, strong rally consolidated back down to the top end of the cloud and now it's digging into the cloud to try and find uh, key support zones. So the bottom of the cloud here, yeah, that's a key support zone as well as the front end of the cloud which is being tested for support. Here. You can see that zone there. will be interesting to see if this support at 19,936 is going to hold and then the upside target would be the top end of the cloud. It needs to break past that zone there as well as the top end of the cloud and then we uh, upside target would be the old high there. So there's a good couple of points left in this rally going into July, but let's take a look at the hourly chart. So we had a fantastic rebound from this 19746 on the hourly chart, then got a breakout past the top end cloud chart resistance. So then we're back into bullish territory on the uh, hourly chart. And then a bit of a consolidation back down to the front end cloud chart support zone. You can see how the market rebounded from that cluster of support levels there. we back above the cloud now, back above the standard line of the cloud. So that's good. So this is a key support zone. These key levels are key support zones on the hourly. The upside resistance targets would be the top end of the cloud yeah, at 20,160 basically. And then that uh, level up there is the next upside resistance target on the hourly. But back to the daily. Looking good on the daily chart, uh, upside uh, target up to the old high there, and watch out for key support zones between 19,936 and 19,746 and 19,635. These are the critical support zones for July, um, you know, for the July rally. But so far, so good. Uh, the AI, uh, the Ichimoku clouds are really given some great, great trading signals. 
Now, if we take uh, our analysis one step further and we use artificial intelligence, the Fulgent AI engine that sits on the Metastock 19 uh, platform, we can see we had a beautiful October buy signal there, another volatility breakout signal there, and another third one in March, and then uh, profit taking zone as it sliced through the trailing stop. We In April, we got another volatility breakout that captured that move. So we have got three, four uh, highly profitable trades using artificial intelligence. The most recent one is still in a trade. We got in at roughly 17,350 and we're now at 19,980. So a good couple of points there on the uh, futures contract for the NASDAQ uh, 100 e-minis. Looking at the artificial intelligence on an intraday basis, looking at the four hour uh, chart, we can see the e-minis also captured some really good moves. We had uh, quick move signals here. And then another swing trade signal to the upside, yeah, so uh, also fantastic trades using artificial intelligence. Another swing trade, yeah, back in uh, in March, May, sorry. And April also captured some really significant moves. So, so far, so good. The artificial intelligence really throwing off some really good uh, AI-generated signals trading the NASDAQ 100 e-mini. Until next time, happy Ichimoku Cloud Chart and AI trading. Bye for now. If any trader wants to get their hands on having your own artificial intelligence engine, go to metastock.com slash alpha harvest three for one. We've got a fantastic buy three months for the price of one deal on at the moment. And you can try it out and see if the artificial intelligence engine fits your trading style. Metastock.com slash alpha harvest three for one. This is what the landing page looked like. We've got a three months for the price of one deal whether you're taking the artificial intelligence engine on a uh, end of day basis the side or the real time if you do high frequency intraday trading we've got two options for the buy uh, one buy three months for the price of one deal on metastock platform